The next step is to remove this rust inhibitor that it comes packaged in. This bare cast iron will rust really fast if it's exposed to any moisture. When I get this rust preventative cleaned off, there's several products that can accomplish that task. A lot of people use WD-40. Some people use low odor mineral spirits. Naphtha is another choice or kerosene. And there's probably other citrus degreasers that would work too. Um, I even thought about using my grill cleaner, but I've decided to go with a first step of WD-40. I'm just gonna spray it on and let it soak in and then scrape off any gunk and then wipe it clean with naphtha. So let's get this tabletop clean. This is just a laminate floor sample that I got from the big box store. They work great for scrapers or for spreading silicone, uh, stuff like that. And since they're free, totally disposable. You want to make sure you're doing a nice thorough job of cleaning this. It's my most expensive tool so far, so I want to take good care of it. And by the way, this is much easier to do before you put it on the saw. I don't know why people put it on the saw and then clean it. Makes no sense to me. Now that I'm getting a good look at the bottom side, I can see that it looks like powder coating has gotten into the threaded bolt holes on the bottom here. Um, that could have become a problem if I didn't notice that. So I'm just gonna try to get that out of there. That actually came out pretty easy. Be careful if you have sweaty hands, you can get this rusty and have a nice rusty fingerprint. Now that it's clean and dry, we want to make sure we protect it right away. So to do that, I'm going to use this Boshiel T9 spray. Um, spray that on, wipe it off, and then I'm going to apply a layer of uh, Renaissance paste wax. Um, this is a furniture polish wax. A lot of people use Johnson's paste wax. That works just fine. I saw this recommended on the Wood Whisperer, so I got some and I use it on my tools. I'll put a link for both of these in the description. Spray on and allow to dry. It went on kind of heavy, so I'm just going to wipe off the excess.
Now I'm gonna allow that to dry while I do some other things. Now I'm gonna put a thin coat of this Renaissance Furniture Wax on the cast iron table. I'm just gonna warm it up with a heat gun to make it a little easier to apply. keep together with this wax. surfaces. A little goes a long way. This stuff's a little more expensive than Johnson's, so you don't want to be uber generous. But you don't want to go so light that you're not making an effective coating either. miter slots. This is especially important to get a coating on right away if you're in a garage shop or any place that's exposed to more humidity. I'm in a basement so I'm temperature and climate controlled but it's still important to protect your cast iron. And I'm gonna hit this whole thing with the heat gun. And I'm gonna buff it off so it's nice and slippery.